virus-like symptoms like fever and coughing, it can really rob us of our vital nutrients, especially if fluids and healthy foods are not consumed while we're sick. So did you know this? Our bodies are made up of 60% water. Yeah, you know this stuff, water. So that is why Dr. Drew Oliveira, the Senior Medical Executive Director with Regents Blue Shield, says staying hydrated and rehydrating is so important. It is in every cell of our body. It is used by our major organs, such as our kidneys, obviously, but also the liver, the heart, the brain. Um, staying hydrated is really important. Yeah, hydration is also key to regulating our core temperature, and dehydration can actually exacerbate an existing fever. We know right now we're all taking our temperatures, making sure we don't have a fever, and small losses in body fluid can actually cause body temperatures to rise. Our bodies need quite a bit of hydration every day. Uh, for women, 2.7 liters, about 11 glasses of water. For men, 3.7 liters, about 16 glasses. Now, Dr. Oliveira says that hydration does not have to necessarily come in just the form of water. It can be in soups. It can be in coffee and tea. It can be in fruits and vegetables. Um, so lots of ways we can get hydration. So when it comes to replacing lost fluids and electrolytes, that is a big key here, right? Electrolytes are important here too. So there are some other options outside of just water. So we know about Gatorade, right? We know about the sports drinks, but we also know that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention actually recommend oral electrolyte solutions like Pedialyte because it contains a balance of electrolytes, sodium and sugar, and actually contains twice the electrolyte sodium as the sports drinks do. Now I know there are advancements to some of the sports drinks. They've added electrolytes as well. So when you're shopping for them, make sure you look for that. The key here is a balance with sugar. And Dr. Oliveira says it is important that we avoid hydrating with fluids that contain a lot of fat like milk and yeah, too much sugar like a pop has. Those sweetened um, fluids can actually suppress our thirst and um, certainly lead to other problems with too many, too many calories. So staying hydrated also means healthy membranes. When we cough, when we sneeze and just breathe, membranes in our nose, in our mouth actually eliminate bacteria. And moisture and being hydrated helps heal those broken membranes so that additional infections and those organisms can't enter our body. We're all doing everything we can to stay healthy right now, so hydrating needs to be a key part of that. And we continue to make your health a priority while we navigate this global pandemic. If you'd like more information on this story and other healthy living stories, just go to our website, q13fox.com slash healthy living. Grace, when was the last time you had Pedialyte? I mean, I, I've been drinking it in this pandemic because